is to discover a really cool Java decompiler and profiler that is called Recaf. And so basically, you go here, it's called Recaf, you can download it right there, it's a bytecode editor. But in order to run it, you need a Recaf launcher. So if you go to the repositories, here, there's this thing right here, and uh, you just download this bit right here. There's actually some releases, go to that, and then download, I downloaded Recaf GUI. And uh, this has to do with the fact that there's JavaFX dependencies and it can't be sure about what JDK you're using and so on. So I go to my downloads directory and I can run java minus jar recaf GUI. Now I did try installing this in homebrew, but it didn't quite work. Um, okay, so I actually, when I ran it for the first time, it actually prompted me to do some configuration, but it just loaded the thing directly this time. And the first time it asked me to point to it to a JDK and, and so on. And uh, now let's go ahead and start a new project here on Spring Initializer, Java 24, add a web. I'll go over here. And unzip demo, cd demo, idea upon that XML. Here's the code. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to start it up. It does nothing, but we'll start it up. Go back to here and go file, attach to remote. And you can see it actually sees all the stuff that's running, including my demo project. I can hit connect. Shows me information about my current running application, which classes are involved, which is compilation, the system, you know, all this kind of information about the app application itself, the threads. But more to the in more interestingly, if you go over here now, go to the workspace, go to platform, you can see org, you know, system class loader, org, spring framework, boot, all this kind of stuff that's loaded into RAM right now, right? And that and that you can use. There's also your demo application. So con example demo demo application. Okay. So this is actually decompiled the running form of the code, right? This is actually the code that was here as a class file that's been decompiled and made visible to you. How cool is that? Look at that. You can actually inspect the methods, the object and hierarchies. So if I go back over here to spring, surely we'll find something with some inheritance here. There you go. So do we see do we see that? Fields and methods, right? And inheritance recap environment post processor. Very convenient, free little utility. Uh, seems like it's got a lot of cool uses.